Who doesn't love soul food? Well, you can get it and gospel music at the Urban Hope Soul Food Sunday event. Dean Hall is the executive director of the Evansville Community Development Annex. It's good to see you. And I, now he reminded me I'm seeing him again, oh. uh, singing with Gina Moore not right. too long ago. Yeah, it's been a while ago, but yeah, yeah I remember that. Good to yeah. see you again. Thank you for having me, Angie. And I love the graphic for your event. So tell us about what's going to happen that day and what it's supporting. Well, Soul Food Sunday is something that I've been wanting to do since we've been in the building. We've had this building for six years now. Uh, operating as a community development uh, center. And uh, so we've transitioned it now into a nonprofit called Urban Hope Collaboration. And so Soul Food Sunday is our kickoff fundraiser to kind of get the ball rolling on the nonprofit element of, uh, of the annex. And uh, what better place and way to do it through food and gospel music. The music is going to be incredible. The food's going to be incredible. So now, who's gonna, doing the food for you? Well, we've got a whole list of... Uh, urban cooks, caterers, and chefs. Well, we have the talent here, we as do. you had discovered, and, yes. And my mama's top on the list. Oh, well, mama. <laughs> All right, what's so, mama making? Uh, macaroni and cheese, oh, now. Yes. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> and, and so we've got so many wonderful cooks in our urban community, and this is gonna be a, a showcase of, a snippet of it, so to speak. We've got some great, great food lined up. But even b better than the food or just as good is going to be the music, I'm telling you. It's, we've got gospel artists coming from all the way from Owensboro, uh, Henderson, and the uh, Evansville community. And you're going to eat and, and uh, have fun and eat and sing and sing and eat. And uh, it's going to be a great time. going to be a great time. And what day is it and what time does it kick Sunday, off? Sunday, uh, September 29th. So next weekend. Starting at 12, because all the churches kind of get out at different times. <laughs> just, just in time yeah. for lunch so, and after So yeah, different churches, they get out. You can RSVP on the hour. So uh, I go to Zion Missionary Baptist Church. We get out around 11, 15. Mm -hmm. So we'll be there at 12. And then as churches get out, we just ask you to RSVP at the top of the hour that you're going to be able to come. We've got churches coming from Henderson, and, you know, we get, we, it's going to be a great thing. And, I am and, sure uh, you will, and probably lots of people just come. Just Because come. they hear it at church on Sunday and, and come on out. Right. Well, That's I'll certainly important. announce it at my to churches too to and, and get the word out can for you. you. Can you sing? Can you I sing? do. All right, uh, I do. I do. Okay. So it's been a while, right. but I, I do okay. uh, every Good. now and then. Well, tell me about the collaboration and what inspired you to kind of switch your, your focus. There. Well, we, we are the longest running in incubator and uh, event center in the urban community. Uh, we have Danny Thomas's boxing, uh, Rock'em Sock'em Boxing mm -hmm. and Fitness. He's at has a gym upstairs in our place. We have two faith groups that have uh, different faith expressions that, that use our building for their worship services. Uh, we have a Christian outreach called Holy Smokes that minister to people coming through uh, the uh, uh, drug and alcohol abuse uh, program. Program, yeah. uh, and they, they cook for them and minister to them. It's just a bit, and they've been in our building for four years now. So it's just been a great collaboration of, of community events and community forums. We actually had a mental health uh, forum uh, several years ago dealing with the same topic that uh, Youth First just was dealing with. So well, it's a per perfect yeah, partnership perfect for partnership. you today. So it to was a great connect. So that's what it's all you. about. It's all about connecting, collaborating, and, and providing programs. Now we're transitioning. The next thing we want to do is to incorporate a, uh, a youth program of education, tutoring, arts, and, you know, just exposing it's kids just to things. Total, that, the total picture. Yeah, so that's the big kickoff for the the uh, Urban Hope Collaboration Fundraiser. That's what you'll be supporting with coming in and having some soul food. Uh, <laughs> and listening to that great music, too. And listening too. to that great music. Oh, yeah. man, it's uh -huh. going to be wonderful. But I'm so... I'm so uh, impressed by the work that you have done and what you plan to do well, for our community. I mean, this is right here at home. Thank you. The best is yet to come. Yeah, the best and is so yet to come. So come back the... often when you're, you know, doing another event. Well, we'll be glad to promote you. Thank you so much. Nice thank to you so see much. you again, Dave. God bless you too, Angie. Get some soul food. Get some soul food. We'll be right back.